Hi, let's see one of the gate question which was asked in the year 2023. Consider the C function foo and binary tree shown. Okay, meaning that they have given one binary tree and they have given some set of code in the form of functions, right? One function is foo function, another one is a node representation. Node represent, right? So, meaning that if you would like to represent a binary tree, your node should have three fields. Am I right? One is a value field, another one is left field, another one is a right field. So that is the reason they have taken one value field and another one is a, a node left address stored field and another one is node right address field. And uh, and they have given alias name as node. Alias name as node and uh, you can we can go through this uh, code later so when foo is called with a pointer to the root node of the given tree what will it print meaning that this function is going to be called by passing root node address but is with a pointer to the root node they are saying that root node pointer if you are going to pass what is going to happen right so we have to cross check assume that this address is 100 this address is 100 this address is 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600, right? So we are passed with an address 100. We are passed with an address 100, right? Uh, and there is a variable called a retrieve val variable. Val variable. And is this p value contains null? No. So it is going to execute the else block. In else block, it is going to execute this function, this expression that is p tends to val plus of p tends to left plus p tends to right guys you know it's a kind of expression it is going to evaluate from left to right so p tends to val p tends to val means what p tends to val is 100 100 tends to value is 10 10 is supposed to be printed right but but what is going to happen here here uh, as it is recursive function see if it wants to print first it has to assign to this value right but without completing this entire expression it can't happen to here so i just written here next it is a recursive function f tends to f of p tends to l right p tends to l means it, it will move to the left side so here it is going to pass its address as 200 it is at 200 now again it is going to create one more uh, local variable like that it is going to process right so again it is going to call the function p tends to val well plus p tends to left plus p tends to right guys if if you already understood you can never directly uh, give the answer but are uh, understandable to i am saying right so here 200 i am passing so 200 tends to val well, 200 tends to value is 5 and 200 tends to left side is 400 so next recurse function is going to be called by passing 400 so when we pass 400 again 400 is not null so p tends to val plus o of p tends to left plus p tends to right right so p tends to val p is what now 400 400 tends to val is 3 and who p tends to l that is 400 tends to l 400 tends to l is there any value it is null it is null so now null is going to be passed right is p double equal to null yes then it is going to return the value as zero value as zero right now it is going to check for right side it will check for right side right f of what is uh, here p here uh, P is 400 now. Here P is 400. Now. Means this is for 400, this is for 200, and this is for 100. Right? So here this is for 400. 400 tends to right side is 500. So now 500 is passed. 500 is passed. When 500 passed, one minute. Sorry. 400 tends to right side is null, guys. So because this is null, and this is null. So it is null only, right? When null is passed, yes, you will get null. That null is going to get 
so 3 0 0 3 plus 0 plus 0 okay so this entire expression is done now this value is going to be stored in a variable called retrieval variable that is 3 that is, 3. That is going to be printed going to print it so number 3 is going to print it so first option is number 3 in all the cases so we can't skip any one of the option next once the center expression is done the expression is done next it will go for p tends to right side f of p tends to right side right so f of p tends to right side means 200 tends to right side is this address this address then it is going to print 8 it's going to print so first 3 will be printed then 8 will be printed 8 will be printed then its root node will be printed 5 then it will comes back and then it will move to the 11 move to the 11 left side no value so it will move to the right side and its side left side no value right side no value then 13 will be printed and after completion of both left and right it is going to print 13 then it will print 11 and both sides done so then it's going to print 10 this is the logic what your program is going to be followed okay so answer for this one is option a so you have to make it practice so that you will get clear idea okay i hope understood clearly thank you